just replaced your AC and your house is still hot, stick around for the question of the day as we talk about additional options in the hot list. What's going on, guys? Matt in the hat. Matt Johnson Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams Diamond Partners. You are tuned in to the hot list. I come to y'all every Monday through Friday, and we hang out for a while. We talk about real estate. We talk about properties that are new to the market, been on the market, and had a recent price reduction on them, as well as answer a question of the day that is submitted by you, the viewers. And we recognize and thank our sponsor of the week. Just one minute. All right. So the property we are talking about today, the address is 1407 Sean Street, right here in Emporia. This is a four bed, one and a half bath. It does have an attached one car garage. It's got 1,104 square feet of finished space. Currently listed at 169.5, courtesy of Eck Real Estate. It's got hardwood and carpet throughout the house. Uh, it's got a it's got a very cool deck on on the back. Got a patio for additional additional seating. Now this does have a fenced in yard, uh, which is very cool. It's also in a northwest location, so it's very close to a couple elementary schools very close to the mall, uh, some dealerships for vehicle service and maintenance, as well as grocery stores in, in that general area. Does have a finished basement that is a walkout basement, and the kitchen is set up with plenty of ca cabinets, countertop space, as well as a, uh, it looks like a slide out or pull out pantry, so that's very cool. And there are a number of windows, not just small windows, but large windows as well to let in plenty of natural light. So if this is a house that, you, that you've seen, maybe would consider, or you just started looking and not sure what's in your, what's in your wheelhouse, click on the link and it'll take you right to my website so you can see the pictures for yourself. As you guys come in here, if you would also let me know if you are catching this live or on the replay. Just hashtag live or hashtag replay. That way I know who's catching it when, and I would greatly appreciate that. Before we get into the question of the day, I do want to recognize and thank our sponsor of the week this week, and that is AKA Marketing and Promotions. Uh, this is a local company here in Emporia. Uh, I, I love using them because they have... I bought, I bought wallets there. I bought jackets, lanyards, um, pins. They they help design and find uh, a pin that I still I still use today and and give people. Uh, they've got apparel, bags. They've got tech products. They've got gifts. If you uh, like, they help me find and customize some some keychains that I could give away to people when I was selling cars. Uh, if you're looking at doing some type of fundraising event, they have fundraising giveaways as well and promotional items. So make sure you check them out. Click on the link in the description. It's gonna take you right to their website because they have more than I can just cover and talk about on this episode today. Uh, if you don't know, what you're going to look look for or what you want to search for there is a way to search for all the products or if you have it narrowed down to you know writing utensils uh, tech products drinkware um, you can you can search those as well so make sure you you check them out they are uh, local here here in town and they do an absolutely amazing job incredible job and i love working with them and dealing with them as well all right, question of the day. Again, just a reminder, question of the day is submitted by you guys, the viewers, and I can't do that without you. So if you have a question of the day uh, or question in general that you want answered, make sure you get that over to me and submit that to me, whether it's through Facebook, email, my website. I'm happy to answer the question, include it on the episodes here, and do what I can to not only help support educate you guys but everybody else as well uh, 
So question of the day is, my house is still hot after recently updating my AC. Is there is there something I can do that is more efficient than window units? Well, first and foremost, thankfully this time of year, there are not too many hot days left in store for us, at least in this area. Like today, I think the high is in the in the low 80s. Now that's not to say that we don't have we won't have some hot days still to come in the month of September because that's usually up in the air. And that's not to say next year there aren't going to be those hot days because those hot days can turn into hot weeks, especially if your AC needs to be replaced or is not fully functioning. Uh, just a side note, if your AC is recently replaced or having your AC replaced, that is like the best feeling in the world, just saying. But what if you have just had it replaced or updated or serviced and part of your home still feels like an easy bake oven? Uh, many of us just throw a window unit in there and that's not always ideal, not always the most efficient uh, because while it may work for that room, it may not work for any additional rooms. So are there other options that are not just limited to one room? Well, door number one was replacing your AC. Door number two are window units. Today we're going to talk about Door number three, a lot, an option that a lot of us may not know about, that is ductless mini split systems. So today we're going to talk about three need to knows about the ductless mini split systems. First and foremost, we're going to talk about what is a ductless system. This is an AC system that is designed to cool and sometimes heat, depending on, on which one that you get, smaller spaces in, in a home. Uh, these work together to improve climate control in, in the entire home. They may even be capable of replacing a ducted system uh, depending on the size that you get and the square footage of your house. Obviously, the main difference between the ductless mini split and the standard AC is in the name ductless. Uh, these help eliminate tons of temperature loss that is normally uh, normally occurred in crawl spaces, basements, attics. And unlike window units, these can be hung out of the way of the windows so you still have a fully functioning win window because these only require about a 3-inch hole. Uh, the 3-inch hole is to run refrigerant lines and electrical controls through in order to continue to heat or cool those those rooms number two advantages of the ductless system uh, there are many many reasons many advantages to love a ductless system we're going to cover a few of those in this part right here towards the top is going to be the energy efficiency uh, it's probably among the highest advantages because these systems the ductless system has an average sear rating of 28 versus a ducted system with an average sear rating of 13. So these are much more efficient than what the standard ducted systems are. A couple other advantages, uh, they do offer more precise control over room temperatures. And this is, well, this would be what I would consider another important difference is right up there with the efficiency because these are controlled by an inverter. So this allows the air to come out of the air handler of the ductless unit at the temperature you set. Uh, now this is different from how a ducted AC works because those blow at one temperature and you'll hear the AC kick on, then kick off, kick on, kick off. And that's what they do to help maintain that. Another advantage is the ability to set room temperatures individually of and independently of one another. So this is kind of like a, if you were to zone off different parts of the house with a ducted system, which is possible, it's just going to be more expensive and not necessarily a reasonable solution for rooms requiring different temperatures. 
So why would rooms require different temperatures? Well, uh, the two biggest ones, um, if you have a m multiple generation, multiple generations living within a home, uh, you know, the, the kids may, may get hot sooner and easier than what their grandparents or great grandparents who would want, want the rooms warmer than, than the kids. Uh, also, if you have uh, cooling that is irregular throughout the day, for example, my house faces, faces southwest. So for a majority of the day, the sun just beats the south part of my house and really heats up that, that part of the house. Uh, so you can set one room at 72, for example, like my living room, I could sit at 72 and it would stay nice and cool in there while not freezing me out in my office on the opposite side of the house. If that makes, hopefully that makes sense. And of course, another advantage is no more dirty air circulating through your house because ducks are filthy. Um, that's just the nature and side effect of the design, especially if it's an older home. So with the mini split, because they are ductless, each has its own uh, air filtration system. So there's not going to be any dirt that's going to settle. And this keeps the air in the house significantly cleaner all the time. And finally, the third thing you need to know about the ductless system is when not to add a split. Keeping in mind that not every house is ideal for a ductless system because newer homes have a higher efficiency HVAC system installed than some of some of the older ones or they may be new enough they don't have a a significant temperature loss or temperature differential across across the structure and across the home and this is important because if there's not a lot of temperature loss or differ, differential throughout the house you and you install a ductless system, you are unlikely to recapture the cost of what those many, many split systems can run to install. So if you, hopefully this, this answer answers the question and gives you an idea. Is this going to be more expensive than a window unit? Yes, they are. Uh, what are the prices range? I don't know. Each house is going to be different. That's why I didn't get into pricing in, in this episode. This is just to give you another option that's going to be a little more efficient than what a window unit would be. You know, if you have a house that either has a second story or, you know, a few rooms that face like mine does south or west and are hot at any given time. So instead of placing three or four window units in there, this gives you an additional option as far as a ductless system to run a little more efficiency and keep a little cooler in there. If you are unsure if your house would work or qualify, uh, give me a call. I have a number of uh, HVAC specialists and pros on my five-star vendor list that I'm happy to share with you and re refer out to you. So that's what I got for you guys today in the hot list. Hopefully you get something from this. Hopefully this helps you out and answers your question. So. Thank you for tuning in to the hot list with Matt in the hat, Matt Johnson, real estate powered by Keller Williams diamond partners. I do this because your experience matters and should be trusted with a veteran. Y'all have an awesome Monday and I'll see you in here tomorrow.